put my credit card in and got declined. So I pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it back in, said decline again. So now I'm saying, I know I'm not broke. It has often been seen in the world of Hollywood that an athlete has decided to make a name for himself or herself after calling it a day in the world of sports. We have seen Dwayne Johnson go from WWE pro to a Hollywood megastar, and the same can be said about John Cena. But another huge athlete, quite literally and figuratively, is the NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq has widely been regarded as a legend of the NBA and one of the greatest the game has seen. But since the last few years or so, he has been taking up a bigger and more serious role in Hollywood. He's doing also sorts of projects now and is making a name for himself in Hollywood as well. But before we can go into any more detail, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content surrounding the world of entertainment. Now, let's take a look at Shaquille O'Neal as he gets into the movie making business once and for all. On the court, that success was undeniable. O'Neal is regarded as the most dominant center in the history of the sport, winning three NBA championships with the Lakers and one with the Miami Heat. Now at age 49, he's stepping up his Hollywood game in a big way. It's 2018, he co-starred in a role in the Lionsgate comedy Uncle Drew, which was released in June of the same year. The film saw O'Neill and fellow former real-life pros Kyrie Irving, Chris Webber, Reggie Miller, Nate Robinson, and Lisa Leslie play septuagenarian hoops has-beens who reunite to win the Rucker Classic Streetball Tournament in Harlem. Being the third lead, he was paid $250,000 for the role. That may have been nothing for the millionaire, but this opened up even more avenues for him and his acting career. What followed was another slate of projects. He took part in a Facebook watch reality show, Big Chicken, named after and chronicling the opening of his first restaurant chain, which specializes in fried chicken sandwiches. He also helped set up the animated show for Universal Kids Network based on his inspirational Little Shack book series chronicling lessons from his childhood, and two scripted TBS comedies, one of which starred the popular Hollywood actor Ken Jeong. The network approached the basketball legend and the hangover breakout about collaborating after their well-received duel on TBS's rap battle series Drop the Mic that aired in April. These projects came on the heels of a busy spring that found O'Neill launching Shaquille O'Neal Presents All-Star Comedy Jam, I'm Still Laughing on Showtime. He had also voiced a role in Global Road's animated kids film, Show Dogs. The NBA legend also bantered with Charles Barkley as part of Turner's NBA Playoffs broadcast team ending in late May of 2018. For the man who fronted studio movies like Paramount's Blue Chips, $23 million, and Disney's Kazam, $18.9 million during the height of his career, he's been eager for a second act. Shaq even talked about his decision to become a Hollywood actor. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he had the following to say, Who am I to say no to Hollywood? You know, everyone wants to be a movie star, he said with a laugh. He managed to make it big as a basketball player and then was smart enough to use his name and status to enter the Hollywood business. That certainly seems true for elite basketball players. O'Neal's push into the entertainment space coincides with a broader phenomenon of hoop stars, both current and former, making significant forays into film and TV. O'Neal's former Lakers teammate Kobe Bryant, who sadly passed away in 2020, had also entered the Hollywood business and even managed to win an Oscar for the best animated short for Deer Basketball. LeBron James had a number of high-profile films in the works at Warner Brothers, including a House Party reboot, and had even been involved with the NBC game show called The Wall. Steph Curry is developing faith-based movies for Sony's Affirm label, and Ron Howard and Brian Grazer's Imagine Television is tackling NBA Finals MVP Kevin Durant's story for the Apple series Swagger. But O'Neal might be uniquely poised among current and former sports superstars given his broad appeal that bridges red state and blue state sensibilities. In an increasingly polarized era where many athletes are entering the political morass, from Colin Kaepernick taking a knee during the national anthem, to Jake Arrieta goading Trump-hating celebrities to leave the country, Shaq is another star who could be whatever you want him to be, not unlike Taylor Swift or Dwayne Johnson. He chooses to keep to himself. He says, I don't do politics. I'm in the fun business. And all respect to him for saying so since he wants to focus on himself and his own career. But others had different opinions to share about the star. He did come under some controversy for the same statement in the past. The ESPN senior writer in 2018 named Howard Bryant said that O'Neill's silence was a political statement in itself. The writer said that, in today's time, saying nothing is as powerful as speaking. Bryant being the author of The Heritage, Black Athletes, A Divided America, and The Politics of Patriotism, is quite the emotional and patriotic man himself who would have preferred for another big superstar of color to rise up. He went on to say 
that by choosing a pitch man and choosing to be quiet, you are making a political statement. He just does not want you to know what he thinks. He's an entertainer. He's making a lot of money. He's got a lot of visibility. I think he's making a calculated decision not to speak on the matter of politics. But whether it's because of this reason or not, it seems to be working out for the big man. According to Marketing Evaluations Incorporated, a New York-based company that compiles Q scores, which is a measure of the familiarity and appeal of a brand, celebrity, or company, O'Neal boasts a better score than the top five current NBA stars. LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, James Harden, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. Among former athletes of any sport, only Michael Jordan enjoys a higher Q score. The Marketing Evaluations President, Stephen Levitt, had the following to say on the NBA athlete turned Hollywood star. He stays out of controversy. Shaq has great appeal with children, teens, and adult males. He is like a gentle giant. Happy, playful, always smiling. There's no baggage associated with him except for being terrible at the free throw line. If we were to take a look at his other gigs and brand endorsements, he is a very big face. He is a top earner on Madison Avenue where he has done spots for companies such as Reebok, Krispy Kreme, Gold Bond, and Icy Hot. Speaking on the money he makes via ads and brand deals, he had the following to say, I don't know how much I'm making from endorsements. My guys are not allowed to tell me. Never want a deal to be influenced by money, he says. I always deal with products that I believe in. You know, it's dishonest as a businessman to take the money and run away from your brother. To understand his popularity among all the demographics, we just need to look at his upbringing. His stepfather, Philip Harrison, was a Muslim career army sergeant. His mother, on the other hand, was a Baptist. Harrison instilled in O'Neill a respect for the military and law enforcement. Not a popular sentiment among the current crop of black athletes and the larger Black Lives Matter movement. My father was like that. You don't be quiet during the national anthem. He'd go crazy, he says. Now people starting to hate police, and I don't like it personally. I don't get it. You know, I always tell some people, hey, if a rapper does something crazy, you want me to hate all rappers? You know, one athlete does something crazy, you want people to hate all athletes? So I love police. I'll always support them. O'Neill's vibrant personality goes a long way both in front of the camera and behind it. On the Atlanta set of Uncle Drew in fall 2017, the days were long. Makeup and prosthetics application and removal took up to five and a half hours each day for a number of the actors. But director Charles Stone III says O'Neill kept his castmate's spirits up under difficult conditions. This had made it clear that Shaq, although may not have been the most talented actor to ever grace themselves on the big screen, he is an extremely hardworking one and has worked very well to make sure that he has a big fan base that allows him to be a polarizing figure in Hollywood. Hopefully he keeps stealing the show and winning over the fans in the years to come as well. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Please let us know your thoughts about Shaq O'Neal's journey from the top of the NBA to slowly climbing the ladder in Hollywood now. As always, do make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to our channel to get more awesome content in the world of entertainment and sports. That's all from us for now. Catch you in the next one.